Hey there folks, we're still in the studio. We're pretty much done. I mean, obviously I contacted Mika, Mika Bewick. Yeah. And um, to him, look, you know, I need you on this track. And this guy knew the song. Tell us about your your little history of, of obviously, he's a young guy. So obviously you've got a, a story to tell. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, everything started with my father was actually a guitar player and uh, an old school rocker too. Uh, he had a little band called Kelly Wild, which were kind of starting to have a little career at the end of the 80s. And uh, and they had their first record produced by uh, Rock and Rolf Kasparik from Running Wild. So yeah, there, there, my, there was a little background in the family and obviously as a little kid. I listened to the songs and watched the old VHS tapes of my father playing, you know, with long hair. Yeah. He hasn't had the hair anymore. Does not have the hair anymore, but I got it now. <laughs> and it's down to you now, isn't it, really, to, to fly the flag? Yeah, sure. I mean, he still does it. Greetings out to him. I'm but, absolutely, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but, um, yeah, that's where I, where I uh, caught the disease and... Uh, then listening to a lot of the 80s bands, you know, like White Snake. I obviously listened to a lot of uh, old school heavy metal and rock stuff and since I was a little, little child, you know, like uh, stuff like The Sweet, uh, especially, and ZZ um, Top and stuff like that. But in 2011, I first heard the Dark and Tooth and Nail album, you know, with the intro without, without warning, and then Tooth and Nail coming in, and the guitar solo George Lynch put on there, and then I was completely out. And I was playing a little before that. You know, since I was three years old, I had my little first little guitar, but after that I really got the ambition and I said, well, I want to do this, I want to be like George Lynch, you know, and yeah, yeah. that's how that came about. Your band name, what's, what's the name of the band? Dirty Money. Yeah, I, I watched these guys a few weeks ago in, in Hildesheim and uh, Mika not only plays guitar, he's an incredible singer, he's having lessons with me, of course, and um, in the future we're going to record at least the vocals in my studio and uh, um, they're going to make their first record so uh, looking looking forward to that like i said i met mika through um obviously uh, vocal lessons and i discovered that he is an incredible uh, uh, guitar player also and a great songwriter and you know to be a great guitar player is one thing, but to actually write songs as well is something else. And there's a lot of great guitar players out there, and to actually be able to write songs at the end of the day is a very difficult thing. And uh, also melodies and obviously stuff like that. So the second single that's coming out, obviously in a, a, probably a few months after this one, um, there's no real title yet, I've got to write the lyrics. I'm going to change the lyrics. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> But um, it's, it's obviously in the end it's a combination in some shape or form and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going really good. Like I said, next week will be the mix with uh, Dennis. Uh, looking forward to that, to finally hearing these tracks. Um, obviously we've got the rough demos also from, from the drummer, he does a great job and does great uh, stereo demos that we can work with. But when you finally hear the finally, final polished tracks that is something really special so looking forward to that and it's a great song you will love it you guys it's yeah everybody i heard so far really likes it really likes tracks up tempo track which is kind of unusual for me in a way up tempo songs can, can be quite difficult to to compose i find i'm a more sort of mid tempo type type of guy yeah, me too yeah it's too. it's just just fat it just sounds fat when you're playing the guitar Hope you've enjoyed listening, and um, this is the first part of the studio report. New reveals coming your way very soon, as far as drummers concerned, um, bass player, uh, and obviously guitar player. Thanks for watching. Adios. Bye bye.